So it's Babington Week this week, which is really, really sad and gutting that no one is there. Um, Big Babington and Little Babington, um, just as much gutting for a lot of the grassroots competitors as well. It's such an aim for everyone in the sport and just so sad, so, so sad, as we've said many times before, that none of us are there. However, um, I just thought it was quite cute to um, reshare from last year. I um, wrote a little poem about my wonderful little horse, Veneer Kamira, and it just popped back up recently, so I thought it was a, a fun thing to share of the great day that I had two years ago now. Um, but just a little reminder of that and hope you enjoy it. Okay, so Thomas seems to think it was a great idea that I do something to remind us of this time last year winning badminton. And I like writing poems, albeit very fun, low-key ones. And so he thought it was a good idea that I wrote a fun poem for everyone reflecting on badminton. So um, last night I put a few words together and here we go. It's so hard to think that a year ago today was one of the best moments of my life, when today we are faced with a whole world full of fear, uncertainty and strife. Let's hope and pray that these crazy times will soon come to an end and life can get back to normal and people's lives and hearts will all mend. On a positive note, I have taken time to reflect on what is my biggest win. It will still get my heart racing to share the memories with you, so let me begin. Babington Horse Trials to me is the biggest event that I will ever know. The history, the hype, the pressure, the fear, the buzz and the countdown, three, two, one, go. My little horse is my hero, Veneer Kamira or Tilly is her name. A small, tough and gutsy mare who I believe lives for this game. She is very high maintenance and quite often a pain in the arse, but my goodness she is a fighter who grits her teeth and loves to go fast. Not for a second did I think that a badminton she could ever have won, but she laid her heart on the line for me and it was a job very well done. We gave our best through the week and each phase was, for us, a clear round. Just two seconds over the time on cross country, but she finished well and sound. When I walked the jumping, I thought it was impossible she could jump a clear. As a rider, horsewoman and trainer, no feeling has ever come near. The love and respect that you have for them leaves you bursting with pride of just how much one horse can give you and how hard she had tried. As it ended up happening, by a quarter of a second, victory fell my way. For me and my team, my owner, supporters and friends, this was our day. But it just goes to show, if you keep working hard, dreams really can come true. And if you want it and keep believing, then maybe next year it could be you. Good luck everyone and stay safe. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of fun in these bad times. Yeah! <laughs>